Hey there, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Andrea and I love the Pilates method of exercise. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back to watch some videos. So I'm filming this video in March of 2020. There's a lot going on in the world, especially um, internationally and globally. And we are in the midst of March Madness as well. And if you follow me on Instagram, uh, I am Pilates Andrea on Instagram. I sh I'm sharing a lot of mat live mat classes and live um, videos with other teachers uh, doing the mat. And most of my uh, content I've been sharing on Instagram is a time lapse video of me doing the mat. Uh, I've committed to 31 days of doing the full mat workout. And uh, there have been some requests to have a video where the mat is not sped up and it's just done in real time. So this is a new version of my 30 minute mat. I have another one that I filmed many years ago and I will link that below as well so you can take a look at that one. My husband is also in that one, uh, Joe. And speaking of my husband, while I was traveling and away, I know I've been away from making videos for a while and so if you're watching this and you've been a long time subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I could not do this without you and I so appreciate that you take time out of your day to watch these videos and that we can have this conversation. So Joe, while I was traveling, he did a nice reveal. You can see my filming space is different. My entire studio has a new paint job where everything is brilliantly white. And I have a new uh, vinyl floor. So um, that's a little bit why I've been away. We've been remodeling the studio. There's been a little bit of travel. There's been a little bit of a pandemic. So everything's kind of led me to say, hey, let's take advantage of our online community that we've made. And I want to tell you, I know this is a lot of talking. I'm going to get to the mat, I promise. But I wanted to let you know to stay tuned because I have a lot of things planned for my YouTube subscribers in 2020. Um, I've noticed that a lot of you uh, watch the Wunda Chair workouts, so I've decided to make a series of Wunda Chair workouts just like my series of mat workouts. So I'm going to be filming a 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 minute Wunda Chair workout so that no matter how little or much time you have, you can always jump on the Wunda Chair and get a nice workout in even if you have a few minutes in your day. You know, right now we have lots of time. So maybe you'll watch the 30 minute one to chair workouts instead. And then also later uh, this fall, I am planning and working on uh, an online workshop offering on the Wunda Chair. And so I know a lot of you watch the Wunda Chair workouts, so I wanted to see if there was interest in a fall Wunda Chair workshop. Um, so do let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. And that would be actually like a live workshop, but online. Um, thank you so much. And let's get to the mat. So starting at the top of the mat, I like to lift my arms up because it helps me lift my bottom and my waistline and my powerhouse. And then I feel like I'm trying to keep that way up as I sit down. And then I'm going to lie back. This is the best part of the hundred. And then I'm going to bring everything up for the hundred. Breathe in for five pumps. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Nice vigorous pumping. Still lifting all the things up that you were lifting up when you were sitting down. Just four more sets to go. And I encourage you to count this yourself because I can't be trusted. One more. And then stretch yourself out on the mat. If you've got a strap, get up and get it. If you've got a pole, figure out where it is and then use that too. We're going to do five of the roll up. And really suck the powerhouse away to roll to the mat. Go as far as you can and then suck the stomach in and stretch a little further and a little further and a little further and then roll down. Two more. Last one. Good. 
and then lose the pole. If you've got a handle, use them. Three sets of the roll over. Pull your stomach in to roll down. Lift your back, open, pull the stomach in. Let's reverse, over, together, roll down. If you like from the upper back all the way to your feet. So you get a big stretch of the whole back. One more. Control your legs all the way down. Sit up, get the strap on your feet, foot. <laughs> and then let's do the one leg circle. Really try to stand evenly on both legs, especially that leg lying on the mat. Reverse. We're doing five in each direction per, per leg. Let's go to the left leg. Standing on both. And then challenge yourself to sit right up into your balance and let's roll like a ball. Bring your right leg down with you to the mat, right into position, and then let's do five sets of all of these exercises. Do keep count because it's hard to talk <laughs> and do this. I think I'm already doing too many. Double leg pull. Nice deep full breath. Straight legs. Lower lift. Down slowly, up quick. Down slowly, up quick. Three slow sets of crisscross. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. Change. And sit up for spine stretch. Take a big breath in. Exhale, 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 exhale. We're going to do five. Let's do those three little stretches here too. So you'll stretch as far as you can, and then you'll pull your stomach in and stretch up and over. Pull in a little more, up and over. Pull in a little bit more, and then roll back up. Whew, three more times. So you're really kind of fighting with yourself on the inside. That's five. So now lift your bottom and your powerhouse like you did at the beginning when you descended to the mat and reach your legs up, grab your ankles. Five times. One more. So now slowly bring your legs together, slowly open them. Slowly bring them together, whoop, slowly open them. Slowly bring them together, slowly open them, bring them together. Stretch your heels to the ceiling, hold your toes. And let's do five, roll back, roll up, roll back, roll up. Two more. Last one. 
Hold your balance. Let go of your toes being your teaser. Descend to the mat. Hold your handles if you've got them. Three sets of whichever corkscrew you do. One more each way. Sit up, open your legs for the swap. And you're going to try to put those three little stretches in here too. Keep trying to make this feel like spine stretch so that your back shape is round in this exercise. And if you're watching me, I am a big example of round. Just know I'm trying, but my back might not look very round. Oh, oh, so stretchy. together, turn onto your stomach. We're going to do three times coming up in the plane swan, and then uh, you will dive as well if you do that. And really try to hold your stomach in and come up on your own power. So you take support from the handles or the floor, but not pushing with your arms. And then back up a little bit. And then sit back and take a counter stretch. On to your forearms for the single leg kick. Stretch your legs way away from you and then kick, kick. Kick, kick. And keep feeling like your ribs, your powerhouse, and your low stomach. Keep thinking like they want to start the exercise before your leg does. And we're going to do five sets. I think I did too many. And then onto your stomachs for the double leg kick. Hold your stomach in. One, two, three. Lift your back and lift your hands. One, two, three. You can inhale on this kicking part and you can exhale on the lifting part. Three sets, sit back for a counter stretch. And then up onto your knees, you can grab your pole if you have it. Let's do five of the thigh stretch. So lift up your bottom and your stomach, tip back, and then down with your back, lifting up to the starting position. Hold the stomach in. Three more times. And really come forward a little more than you'd like to, so you feel your bottom try to save you from face planting. And that's going to really help you in this exercise. Your bottom, that is, not <laughs> face planting. Face planting really never helped anyone, as I understand. Okay, and then turn onto your back. If you've got a strap, use it, and go to the neck pull. Take the three little stretches here as well. Lift up super tall, and then suck the stomach away from your feet. If you don't have a strap, you can try to press your heels into the mat, and then you're gonna try to pull yourself so far away from your heels without them scooting around. And I know I say that very cavalierly, but it is hard to do. I think 
There are two more. This one lasts a long time. Last one. Okay. So now legs up to the ceiling, hands on your back. Stand on the ceiling. And we're going to do scissors. So you're really walking on the ceiling. Just two or three, so you're not here forever. And then really keep that idea of standing and walking as you do your bicycle. And then reverse. And then you can lift both legs up, hold on to your stomach, and try to land silently. Whew. And then really stand on your feet in this one. Suck the stomach in, stand on your feet, and when you take a leg away, don't let anything go anywhere. Hold on to your stomach again. Place your arms beside you, suck the the stomach in and roll your back down. Be nice to it. Whew. And then you're going to sit up for the spine twist. Take a big breath in. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Lift each time you come back to the center. One more each way. Oh, that one always makes me burp. TMI. Five jackknife. Hold your stomach in from the back all the way up, and then from the upper back all the way down. This is three. What would it feel like if you could stand on that bar, like you're doing the tower on the Cadillac? Ooh, that was pretty exciting. And I know, I know I'm taking my legs apart because that's sort of mimicking that exercise. We're just taking a tiny, tiny tangent. <laughs> and then I'm gonna try to do the last one with the legs together. So really stand up there on the ceiling. Stand and pull yourself down with your stomach. Whew. Oh, that's a hard one. Okay, side kicks. You know, this is my uh, New Year's resolution for 2020 is to embrace the side kicks and uh, claim them as my favorite exercise. And it's a little bit of what we were doing in the previous exercise that's gonna help us here. Stay tuned, there'll be a video on the side kicks all to themselves. So we're gonna try to stand on both legs, especially this lower leg. And we're gonna do five front back, five up, down, and five circles in each direction. And as you're doing the front back and the up, down, you're going to try to go as much as you can, another inch without momentum, and then you're going to stretch the back all the way down the leg and to the heel. And really lift your bottom like you were sitting up on the short box so that as your bottom lifts, your leg goes down. One more. And now hang on to that bottom leg and go around and stop, around and stop. Three, four, five, reverse. Ugh, this is really hard. Two, three, four, and five. And then just go to the stomach on your way to the other side. Stand on that bottom leg and then go to the front and one more inch and to the back. To the front and one more inch and to the back and one more inch. Three, back, 
four, back, and five, back, legs together, up, up, lift yourself as your leg goes down, up, up, three, last one, and then the circles, around and stop, around and stop. Reverse. Well, this is a little wonky one. Three, four, and five. Okay, lie onto your back. Center yourself top to bottom as well as side to side. It's time for the teaser. We're going to do a medley of teaser one, teaser two, and teaser three right into the hip circles. So stay with me. Arms up, everything up. Arms up. Legs stay up as you roll down. This is teaser one. Arms up, come up. Arms up, roll down. Legs stay up. Now we're switching to teaser two. Reach your toes, lift your bottom down, legs up. Three times. Up, one more. Arms up, everything down for teaser three. Arms up, everything up. Arms up, everything down. One more time, everything up. Everything down. So now we're going to come up one more teaser into the hip circles and back to the teaser to finish. Arms up. Everything up. Hands back. Hold your powerhouse in. Around and up. They don't have to be big. Around and up. Two. Two. One more each way. Return to your teaser. Arms up. Everything goes down. And then, onto your stomach, let's do swimming. Take a few breaths. Last one. Woo. Sit back, take a counter stretch. Flip over. Yeah, I totally like lost my place and lost my focus for a moment. Maybe that's because I don't like the leg pull, which is next. <laughs> I was all excited about the swimming. Okay, meanwhile, walk out to your plank position. Let's do five sets. I think wishful thinking, I thought I was doing the rocking and it was time for control balance because I like to skip this section. <laughs> After five sets, keep your bottom in the air, stand on your feet, and turn for the leg pull front. It's just a scissor, so use your stomach in the same way you did all your other scissors. After three sets, tuck that leg underneath you, Come right up to your side kicks kneeling. And just like your side kicks, try to stand up on both legs. Three times front back. Woo! Into the chest with your knee and pedal forwards. And reverse. And then three circles. Come back to the center. Whew, take a moment, and actually, my hair is falling out, so I'm going to seize this tiny, tiny moment. I know, I'm getting a little rest, right? That's okay. <laughs> my hair won't annoy me. Whew. Okay, and then to the other side. In the future, <laughs> we'll secure our hair permanently in the very beginning of the workout. <laughs> and then three bicycle. And reverse. Three circles. And come back to the center. So now go with that opposite hip again. So we're sort of doing these side things, one side then the other side and alternating. Stand on your feet for the side bend. I like to have the top foot in front because it makes it a little more manageable. If you have both feet stacked, it's a little more challenging. 
So, stand down, lift up, and then press on your feet and lift your bottom to sit. So we're going a little bit up to come down. Stand up, and then lift and press on your feet to sit down. One more. So now stand on your feet and lift your bottom, and then stand down to go up. Up to go down, and then down with your back to lift up. One more. Sit with control. Other side. Lift up, and then lift up like you're resisting coming down. And up, lift. And it might be a little stretchier on your sides if you resist the way coming down. So now lift, kind of the same way your twist on the reformer is, your snake twist. and sit with control. Swing your legs to the foot end of your mat. We're gonna do five boomerang, five seal, and five crab. Take it on your own time, and have a nice rolling experience. Hmm, my hair's falling out again, Whee! And if you do a boomerang that's a little different than mine, that is perfectly fine. And actually, if it would be interesting to see a tutorial on the different boomerangs, leave me a comment below if you'd like to see that. Sealed? Switch to the crab, either in the back like I did or in the front. Five crab. I have a tutorial on the crab coming as well. One more. Okay, and now onto our stomachs for rocking. Suck the stomach in, stretch your legs way away from you as you bend them. Try to get them into your hands as symmetrically as you can. Pull the feet toward the seat three times. Use your stomach and stand on your feet. Do the stretch again. One more. Come down, sit back. Counter stretch. Onto your back for the control balance. Yay! So you can start holding your powerhouse in, take your legs over and up, and take one leg up to the ceiling. So here's just your scissors, just like you did before, except now no hands. You're still trying to walk on the ceiling. And you're trying to stay really lifted as well. Just a few sets. And then get ready to really stand on your feet to stand up. So now let's take our push-up series. We're going to do five sets of it, each time adding an additional push-up. So the first one will do one push-up, the second one will do two push-ups, so on until we get to five and we're finished. Okay, this is gonna really bring our workout up to standing because usually after we work out, we stand up and we go about our day. Arms up, lift your powerhouse so as you bend over, your butt's still going up. Linger with your hands in front of you on the floor. Walk four steps out and then lift yourself to come bend one time. Lift your stomach, four steps back to your feet. Lift your bottom up. Arms come down, you go down. Pause with your hands in front of your feet. Four steps out. Two push-ups. Lift your stomach. Arms up. All the way down again. Pause with your hands in front of your feet. Four steps out. Three push-ups. Lift 
lift your stomach, four steps back, roll up, keep your bottom working as you roll down, linger with your hands in front of your feet, four steps out, uh, four push-ups. <laughs> Don't get lost on your way to five. <laughs> lift the stomach, four steps back, roll up. This is the final set. Hands in front of feet. If this feels nice, you can linger for a little bit. Four steps out. Five push-ups. <clears throat> Lift your stomach. Walk four steps back. Roll up. Arms come down. And you are finished. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> My hair is escaping again. Thank you so much for doing your mat in the month of March. These are stressful times, but just having something that is within our control to do to our exercises can be a really nice way to stay calm, centered at this kind of time in our history. If you have any questions about corrections or comments I made about the exercise, some exercises that you'd like to see in a tutorial by themselves, uh, please let me know in a comment below. And again, thank you so much. I couldn't do this without you. I love seeing you guys um, alive in the conversations in the comments. And I will talk to you later. <laughs> Woo! Bye!